Hello guys, in this video I want to show you why you should be careful when using database transactions and model observers in Eloquent. So imagine this scenario, in your controller you have database transaction with a few database operations from different Eloquent models. For example, creating a customer and then creating a project for that customer. Visually it's this, simple form for the customer. But also imagine that on customer model you have an observer, which does something else, for example send email to someone. So in the model, by the way, did you know that you can register observers this way with PHP attributes with observed by and then you can click in PHP Storm, for example, the observer class and land there immediately. So created, for example, notifies the first user admin about whatever. In this case, that notification will send an email to Laravel log because I've configured .env to have here, as you can see, mail mailer as log. And now the question, what do you think would happen if this fails. Because it's in database transaction, it will be all rolled back, of course. But will the email be sent? Let's try it out and find out. And I deliberately made an error here, and this is underlined by PHP Storm because that model doesn't exist. So it will throw an exception. But now let's try to fill in the form. I will use fake filler Chrome extension for that. I will submit, and we have, of course, internal server error. Now let's take a look if the email is in the log. And for that, instead of just manually looking at laravel.log, I have log viewer package installed, very good package. This one I've reviewed it previously on this channel and I will link that in the description below. Totally recommend that. So we have an error in the log, the same one is on the screen. And we have this email was actually sent although the transaction failed. So that's why you should be careful when using observers with the models that are used in database transactions. The observers should be fired only after the full transaction is committed. And you can easily configure that. It is actually written in Laravel docs pretty clearly. Observers and database transactions. You should add this. Implements should handle events after commit. So if I try to do exactly that in our customer observer, implements this, and let's try to fill in the form again. The same form, the same error will happen with exception, fake filler Chrome extension, we create the same error. Now let's take a look at the log viewer. We refresh and we have the exception, but no email sent anymore. So yeah, kind of a quick tip about those two words added to your observer, but with practical examples for you to understand how it works with and without those two words. And if you want to find more eloquent tricks and needy greedy details like this one, I have a course Laravel Eloquent Expert Level on my Laravel Daily Com with a lot of small things mentioned here in the tutorials and I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.